Another thing that uh, we, we noted is that the, 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 the building has good directions and bad directions, okay? A, a good direction was, let's say the wind is blowing across, we call these the nose, okay? And then in that case, when the wind's blowing, blowing in that direction, it acts like a cut water, all right? And, and, and the, the wind essentially somewhat flows around. It's more of a drag problem uh, than a, a lift. And when we talk about tall buildings, there's two problems. Uh, one I've already alluded to is as the wind goes by, it's this crosswind oscillation. It's, that's called the lift direction. Or you might think of an airplane wing. It's about lift. And the other problem is in the drag direction, where the, as the wind is, is kind of dragging across the object. And, and so, uh, so when the wind is blowing into, into one of the noses, it's a fairly benign thing. But when the wind was, was blowing in between the two legs, it was not so benign. Okay? In fact, uh, we determined that one direction, the, the seat, we call this the tail. Uh, so this is the tail. So it's, it's formed by two wings. Uh, that the sea tail was, was fairly active, okay? So we, so we look at statistically the, the wind directionality of the building, and we rotated the whole building 120 degrees, okay? So, so, so we, we, we took the, uh, the, uh, the most problematic direction, and, and we rotated the building. Uh, and and that's, that's one of the things. So another thing that you'll notice is that uh, uh, a tail... See, here's a tail. Eventually, it becomes a nose. Okay, that, that that the shape of the building morphs as you go up the building. So, so uh, you know, so what is a you know a tail down below, which is going to be generating this kind of vortex setting, uh, turns it turns into a nose as you get up high. 